Okay, we're going to find the derivative of this function, and there's a lot going on here. Now, one thing is uh, that sometimes it helps for me to write the sine to the third power x is like this, sine x raised to the third power. And then another thing is, is to, to, to sort of convince myself that this is actually a product, and I put a dot there. So there's, it's, a, it's actually a product of, of two functions, x to the fifth and sine x to the third power. So the first, my first step will be to use the product rule when I find the, when I find the derivative. And the product rule says, well, I first take the derivative of x to the fifth, but then I leave the next piece, x function sine x to the third alone. Then I take the derivative, then I leave x to the fifth alone, and I'll take the derivative of sine x to the third power. Now, hopefully, I think the derivative of x to the fifth is straightforward. That's just the power rule. So we have five x to the fourth. Bring the five in front and then go five minus one and get four. Then I'll have sine x cubed. Then I'll have x to the fifth. Now, for the derivative of sine x to the third, I have to use the chain rule. What's going on there? I, for a moment, momentarily ignore that piece that's inside, that function that's inside, which is sine x. I ignore that and just think I'm raising something to the third power. I'll call it u. So it's u to the third power. That derivative using the power rule is 3u squared. I bring the three out front and then three minus one is two. Okay. And then what goes back inside is sine x. So I don't change what's inside. But then I turn around as part of the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside, the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So sort of winding down on that, but that's a lot of stuff. Okay, now I just have to maybe without make, getting this all wrong, I need to simplify this. So I have 5x to the fourth sine to the third power x. Let's see, three times x to the fifth, I'll put that up front. Then I'll have sine squared x, cosine x. I feel like it's okay, but it could just be a little neater. All righty, and if you see a mistake, please speak up now so I don't have to throw away this video. That was, it's a lot. It had the product rule and it had the chain rule. So this problem had product rule first, then the chain rule. Okay.